Today is Tuesday, February 27, 2024. With Pastor Chris teaching, our theme for today's article is Ever Increasing Prosperity. Our opening scripture is taken from James 1 verse 17, and it says, Every good gift and every perfect gift is from above and cometh down from the Father of lights, with whom is no variableness, neither shadow of turning. Hallelujah. Something is wrong when someone who was once doing very well financially suddenly starts experiencing unimaginable, protracted financial trouble, pastor begins. Until and unless that individual discerns that that isn't God's plan for any of his children, he may blame circumstances, the government or other people around him for his predicament. He might even blame himself for taking certain actions that he shouldn't have. But the question is, does he really know the truth? Oh, it's important that you know who you are, who God is, what you have in Him, and who He is to you. God is your source. Hallelujah. The Bible says we are heirs of God and joint heirs with Christ. In Christ, Pastor says, your prosperity is stable and ever-increasing. It's from glory to glory. Praise God. We don't go up to come down, no, no. It makes no difference the level of inflation and how unstable the world's economy gets. When you recognize that your true source is the Lord, you'll be independent of circumstances unruffled by the state of the world's economy. Praise God. The Bible declares what the one who is blessed of the Lord shall be like. For he shall be as a tree planted by the waters, and that spreadeth out her roots by the river, and shall not see when heat cometh. But her leaves shall be green, and shall not be careful in the year of drought, neither shall cease from yielding fruits. That was from Jeremiah 17 verse 8. Glory to God. Oh, this tells you something about the consistency of the prosperity of God's people following God's plans. Yes, following God's plans. Praise God. Part of your new creation heritage is that you are plugged into an unending supply. Your source never runs dry. Your source isn't the government, society, job, business, family, or anyone else for that matter. It's the Lord. Glory. So, Pastor says, now in conclusion, look to Him and trust Him for your finances as you act on his principles for financial abundance. Praise God. Thank you, dear Father, for your word to us today and for Pastor Chris. Okay, let's take a confession now, meaning every word from the bottom of our hearts. Please say after me, The Lord is my shepherd. To feed, guide and shield me, I lack nothing. He makes me lie down in fresh, tender green pastures. He leads me beside the still waters. Therefore, I walk in ever increasing prosperity, possessing enough to require no aid or support, and furnished in abundance. For every good work and charitable donation. Glory to God. All right, for further study, please read Psalm 1, 1 to 3, then 2 Corinthians 9, verse 8 of the Amplified Classic says, And God is able to make all grace, every favor, and earthly blessing come to you in abundance, so that you may always. And under all circumstances, and whatever the need, be self-sufficient, possessing enough to require no aid or support, and furnished in abundance for every good work and charitable donation. Then, Luke 6.38 says, 
give and you will receive. Your gift will return to you in full, pressed down, chicken together to make room for more, running over and poured into your lap. Then he goes on to say, the amount you give will determine the amount you get back. Saints, that was from the New Living Translation. Praise God. Of the certainty.